Hey there, I thought what I could try today would be a bit of a uh, on camera painting and I'm going to specifically try, excuse me, <coughs> painting this fella, a little bit of paint on him. He's one of the Crow Magnon bosses. I'll put his name in the subtitles. And that's him and I was going to use him, um, well this is not the colour, this colour to start off with contrast wildwood and uh, try to contrast paints again and um, with a bit of this stuff for um, to thin it down and I'm going to be using a um, Windsor and Newton series 7 brush for this and uh, what I'm going to do first is to paint I think the back of his uh, pelt whatever that might be well, he looks pretty good actually. But there's lots of uh, dark shadows and uh, well, highlighted or or less shaded bits. I've heard other people describe the paint um, pulling away from the higher bits of the model as it uh, gets painted. So that's that part. Okay, what I thought I'd do then um, use this snake bite leather, which I've heard some people say is a very good colour. Use that to paint his trousers. And you can see they're fairly. Um, my eyes see what you think now obviously I'm going to get a little bit of a and where I just touched it there I could see it begin to bleed together but it's not necessarily a bad thing because we're here we're right at the bottom of the uh, of this animal pelt So, as this trousers is done, shouldn't take too long. Okay, so what I've done now, I've used this color again contrast wildwood I've mixed in some uh, Vallejo air sand ivory color and a bit of contrast medium to thin it down and I've got a color down here that's this sort of a, I don't know, a light light coffee color maybe you'd call it you'll see when it goes on let's see what uh, happens to this and I'm going to paint the inside of his uh, with it. Sure I've got paint right up there. It's pretty awkward uh, painting with the camera now. Okay that's that colour. Okay, well what I've done now, taking this uh, contrast Creed Camo and mixed it into my previous two colours that I also put in with the Lamy and Medium. And I made a kind of a greenish, um, a fairly organic looking thing and I was going to his jacket with this. Let's see how that uh, comes out. Now, I'm not sure how in this is a Crow Magnon boss figure. Not sure how in Crow Magnon times he would have uh, managed to dye his um, shirt green like that. 
Um, I was thinking earlier if you uh, boiled it up in some broccoli, but who knows? Did Cro Magnum man eat broccoli? Does anybody eat broccoli? Anyway, let's not get on to that particular topic. I've got to do the um, part around his, um, his neck, so I'll do that now. Okay, now let's move on to that last bit of his collar. We'll try this this one. Uh, I haven't used this one before. I just opened it. So we'll see how all that goes on. Anyway, you can see what you can think of that. That's me painting it on camera. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next bit. Hey there. I painted this figure. I used contrast paints to paint him. I thought that would be a, a little bit of a novelty. Uh, this is one of the Crow Magnum bosses. I think his name is Menhir Five Tusks. I painted uh, almost all of him with contrast paints. And the result is mm, okay. Yeah, but it was very quick, um, about 15 minutes or 20 minutes in total. So what I thought I'd do now, since the uh, the camera footage turned out to be unusable, as all I could really see was the back of my hand, is uh, move the camera around a bit. I've got a little bit of paint in my palette over there. I'm using, um, let's see if you can See that? Model air sand or ivory. And I thought what I'd do paint his hair with this as an initial base coat. I'm still using which I was for the last clip as well, but you wouldn't have seen that. Windsor Newton Series 7 number one brush which does for most things It's meant to be the top of his ear. Not hundred percent sure. base coat what I'll also do is he's got a couple of tusks here this would be a reasonable Hard to base cut those in. And also the strap. And eventually I'm going to paint this a different colour. Just for now. I 
okay and of course there are also these uh, feathers here which are bound into the spearhead we'll give them a little base coat quite windy outside I don't know if you can hear that okay that's uh, those tusks there's also these things I'm not entirely sure what they are they're little, little animal tails or something well what I'll do is I won't paint the whole thing some contrast paint on them already. I'll make them like they've got a different color at the end, like that. No, you're not really meant to have to do that with contrast paints because they do the whole contrast. But I'm gonna be going over that with a wash. Pick out the details. That's that. Right, give this brush a clean. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this grey, Vallejo grey, medium sea grey. For um, for two things, don't need very much of it. There is the base color of the. You can see that spear tip. This is going to be, I presume, a stone spear. And also these rocks. Again, there'll be more do more work on those later to make them look a bit rougher and more uh, part of the environment. I've got all this paint on the base, which I did film. But as I say, completely waste my time because all you can see is my hand. Um, I mixed up a whole load of contrast paint and other paints and blended them and did this, that, and the other thing. Then I had a whole lot left after I painted the figure. So I painted the base with it, put some green into it. I think that'll do. Yeah, that's okay for those bits. I also got some Model Air aged white paint. Which is um, slightly lighter than the uh, ivory. So I'm going to use that for a sort of a highlight. Give it a bit of a shake. I'm probably shaking the camera as well. Let's see how that goes on. OK, 
Okay. Put that there. And then these feathers. The edges of these feathers. To help delineate them. come and do uh, something a bit more drastic but a few streaks of this in his hair and possibly also where he has these tusks Use it as a first highlight on there. Okay, that's that. Next. using this plain white as a highlight you can use a bit of it on the feathers and that as well These are very plain feathers. Oh, what do you think of that? Look okay. A little bit in his hair maybe. could try doing since I've got the white paint out to switch to a smaller brush just reform the point on this brush before I put a definer And then I'll get out this. Uh, this is another Windsor and Newton. Hopefully, you can read that. Series 7. This is a triple zero brush, and this is a, a small brush. Uh, as this is model air paint, it's already pretty thin. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this because I can't watch the camera at the same time. That's one eye. Turn them upside down. This side tends to be the uh, problematic one. I, you probably can't see my and is possibly in the way. So you can see there. OK, 
Okay, we've had a couple of eyes. Well, the whites of his eyes don't shoot. Well, I shoot now. You can see the whites of his eyes. And what I'll do quickly, um, let's see, get another color down. I'll use this um, German red brown. in this any more than it is already It's almost correct. I don't know if you can see that. Well, what I'll just do, and I'll probably mess everything up now. I'll, I shouldn't say that. I'll be talking myself into it. Just put in the drop of white. And his eyes. Remember this is paint, if you can paint it once you can paint it twice. Not too bad. Should I have another go? One little tiny go? Another little dab of white. Just on there. No. He does look a bit crazed, but then again, uh, it's one of them crow magnets. Maybe that's not a bad thing. And what I'll do lastly, just particularly on that right eye, is just draw a line. Oops. And we did that. see that might tidy it up a bit more later but that'll do for now right, I'm going to pause this painting here now 
Oh, I'll speak to you again later.